hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to call it as main animation. Width I'm going to choose 1920. Height I'm going to choose 180. Frame rate is 30. Duration I'm going to choose 1 minute long like that. Okay. And background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title save action okay then press ctrl n to create another composition and height i'm going to choose 1080 only but the width over here i'm going to choose let's say 200 and simply hit ok now select your text tool and i'm going to select my text and i'll type t select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center uh, and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically i'll go to the character options uh, and uh, for the stroke color i'm going to choose white color and for the stroke width i'm going to choose three pixels and let's make this full resolution now select this text press s for scaling option and scale it like this okay now select uh, i'm going to select my ellipse tool i'll delete this stroke i don't need that stroke and i'm going to choose black color for this and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press p for position and bring this downward like this okay uh, it should touch the edge of this text now select this shape uh, this t and make it apparent with this shape layer okay and let's select this shape layer press p for position and let's uh, bring this over here like that okay this t should touch this line over here now after that uh, uh, let's select this layer press r for rotation create one keyframe then we will go to around one second and we will rotate it uh, somewhere around like this uh, 180 like that select those keyframe and hit f9 then go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if i see i'll get this kind of rotation then at this point i'm going to select this t and i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and let's change the parenting and let's bring this at the top then press p for position create one keyframe go to around two seconds uh, and we will bring this downward over here like that go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this 360 select this keyframe and hit f9 select those position keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like that uh, zoom in select this and move this handle over here okay then i'll take a distance of 10 frames and i'll create another keyframe at position then in middle of that uh, i'm going to bring this a little bit upward then go to the graph editor zoom in select this graph by holding shift hit f9 select this graph hold shift move this handle over here and this handle over here this handle over here select this and move this handle over here you can adjust this graph again like that so what will happen we will get this kind of uh, rotation animation and as well as the uh, you know falling animation now select those rotation keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and move this handle over here so if we see we will get this kind of animation or instead of that you can select this uh, uh, rotation keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this a little bit over here 
so it will rotate it a little bit later then at this point over here what i'm going to do i'm going to select this uh, layer over here i mean this ellipse hit ctrl d to duplicate it press p for position uh, and simply uh, 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 select both of these layers and let's bring them at the top and uh, press p for position now over here let's minimize this uh, as you guys can see uh, this is 2140 uh, so i'm going to move this somewhere around over here like that okay which is okay let's bring this downwards which is uh, 63 uh, 3.5 now we will open our calculator let's minimize it and now if i say 633.5 minus 214 is equal to 419.5 okay so i'll copy this and i'll hit ctrl c let's close this now i'm going to select this uh, layer hit ctrl d press p and over here i'm going to plus plus and i'll hit ctrl v that amount and hit ok so it will come over here as well so now because i want this animation in the form of loop so what i'm gonna do let's see then right click new and create one null object uh, let's select all of the remaining layers which are not parent with anyone let's make it a parent with this null select this null press p for position and we will bring this a little bit downward over here like this over here our main motto is that this point should be at the center like that okay and you can select this t over here you can bring this a little bit downward over here or let's not do that let's keep it as it is okay like that so if you see we will get this kind of animation okay now uh, i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d again and let's move this at the top press p and again uh, we have to select this and we are going to type minus and i'll say uh, again amount uh, control v that amount which is 419.5 so it will move this over here okay so if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay now i'm going to select this null object press p for position and create one keyframe then press ctrl r to bring our ruler and i'll bring this ruler over here to make it apparent with this one okay like that now select this position keyframes and hit spacebar to run this animation and when this t is going to touch this uh, let's somewhere around over here i'm going to select this and i'll bring this from here to here until it's going to be parent with this layer like that okay so let's make this fit yeah so if i see this animation i'll get something like this and at this point i'll hit n so now if you see this animation we will get this animation in the form of loop okay so this is our first animation uh, i'll select this right click and trim comp to work area then hit ctrl k and we will bring increase the width to up to 250 let's say so what will because we need to reveal our text or let's do one thing we will make it 400 so it would be easy for us to check out that animation now after that press ctrl k to open the project settings again and we will call this comp as t then we will go to the main animation and we will bring this t over here like that then we will go to the last keyframe over here uh, right click choose time enable remapping and before this last keyframe hit page up button little bit so it will go one frame backward and create one keyframe then at last select this layer and simply hit delete now i'll click on this stopwatch and type loop out expression on it and we will increase the size of this layer like that so we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop okay now i will need to create this typographic letter so for that what we can do i'll simply select this and move this over here uh, and we will type our text first let's say typography okay select this text and let's uh, increase the alphabetical distance to 100 like that select this press s and let's increase the size and we have to make it 
it looks uh, similar to this okay okay this looks similar select all of them and let's uh, adjust it properly so it should come properly at the center like that okay now uh, i'll select this layer bring this backward and uh, i'll choose black color for this okay and i'll lock this layer now basically we need to create uh, different different comps i'll select this i'll hit ctrl d and let's move this over here like that uh, let's uh, select this hit ctrl d over here hit enter and let's call it as y double click to open this select this t and type y select this t over here as well and make sure to type y okay then select this t and by holding alt i replace this layer okay so if you see this now we will get this kind of animation now we have to follow this procedure for each and every one so first i'll do what do is i'll create my uh, alphabetical letters so hit enter and let's call it as p double click to open this uh, uh, go over here select this let's make it p select this let's make it p okay select this hit ctrl d let's try it. sorry select this let's try to adjust it over here and by holding alt i'll replace it and i'll try to adjust it properly like that then select this hit ctrl d bring this over here select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as o double click to open this change this to o select this change this to o by holding alt replace it and adjust it select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as g double click to open this let's type g type g hit ctrl d let's move this over here by holding alt replace it select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here select this g hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as r double click to open this let's select this r and make it r and by holding alt replace it select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as a double click to open this let's make this a let's make this a okay then i think we already have p so hit ctrl d let's bring this at the top and we will simply bring this over here we don't need to create another one then select this hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as h double click to open this select this type h select this and type h ctrl d to duplicate move this over here and by holding alt replace it and with the help of arrow keys you can adjust it okay then last is y hit ctrl d over here let's bring this at the top and uh, we can simply bring this over here like that now i don't need this uh, extra alphabetical layer so i'll bring this so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this but i don't want to uh, you know no one i want one by one so i'll take a distance of five five frames for each and every one like this so what will happen the animation will start one by one like this then i'll select all of them and i'll bring this letter at the start so if i see i'll get this kind of animation over here now if you go inside this y and if you see my animation is going to be in the form of loop at this point uh, which is over here like that and suppose so uh, if you want to create a uh, black and white stuff animation also 
so what you can do over here now suppose i'll check out this position i'll press ctrl r and i'll bring one ruler over here and one ruler over here like that as a reference or guideline let's say and i want my animation to run up to for 10 seconds maybe like that so whenever this uh, y is going to be in between these lines this is going to be my looping point so i'll hit n over here so now after this point over here if you see my animation is going to be in the form of loop okay then i'll press ctrl y on my keyboard to bring one solid background and i'll bring this over here like that okay then i'll uh, let's close this then right click new and create one adjustment layer and i'll apply tint effect on it and i can easily swap this effect over here like that okay so this is also one way to do it or instead of that there is another fun way you can play around with this animation uh, is that if you go inside this t over here uh, as you guys can see uh, we will get this animation uh, or i think that it's not gonna work over here because we have created one time bounce so over here how we can animate this adjustment layer we can create one ellipse and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically select this adjustment layer and choose alpha mask select this uh, layer press s create one keyframe over here and in middle of that uh, let's we will increase the size of this component ellipse like that now select both of these layers and hit ctrl d and let's bring this over here and hit u like that so we will get this animation like ellipse forming over here so this is how we can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects